All right, so I'm putting you on hold now, John. If you want to hang up as I'm speaking, you feel free to do so. I invited you on the show. I know that you don't like what I have to say. I thought we could have a conversation like two intelligent people. Is that at all possible? Is that possible, John? That we can have a conversation? Is that possible? Everybody in this plant, they wanted me to call, but everybody's gonna call. You know, uh, I gave you an opportunity to, for us to have a conversation. I asked you to tell me specifically what I've said with which you disagree. I'll give you one more chance. Tell me specifically what I've said that you disagree with. Okay, John? Let's see if we can do that. Go ahead. We know you're a lawyer, so quit trying to psychologically psych somebody out. We know you're a big uh, Okay, all right, so, so you're not capable of doing it. You just came on to yell and scream. So if you're still listening, let me just say something to you. I'm not your enemy. I don't know who taught you that I'm your enemy, but you've been taught that. You've been brainwashed. You've been deluded. All I suggest is that this country is not nearly as racist as it once was. All I'm suggesting is if you work hard, get an education, don't make bad moral mistakes, no matter your race, no matter your creed, no matter your sex, no matter your sexual orientation, you can make it in America. And that makes me an Uncle Tom? Really? The reason I criticize Obama is not because Obama is black, it's because Obama is left wing. The same reason I criticize Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the chairwoman of the DNC, the same reason I, I criticize Nancy Pelosi, the former Speaker of the House, I criticize liberals. When Obama ran for Senate, he ran against a black man. He ran against a man named Alan Keyes, who happened to be a Republican. I suspect that had you been living in Illinois as opposed to Ohio, you would have voted for Obama over Alan Keyes. Alan Keyes is black. How come you're not an Uncle Tom? How come you're not a sellout? You voted against a black man? The reason you voted for Obama is because you like his policies. I don't. I don't believe in raising taxes on job creators. I don't believe in that climate change is something that's threatening the planet and, and is a bigger threat than, 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 than radical Islam. I don't believe in a higher minimum wage. I believe in vouchers. Obama's never set foot in a public school. And when he moved to Washington, D.C. after he became president, he and his wife made a big display about checking into public schools for Sasha and Malia. And I said on the air, I will be a Russian crossdresser before they put those girls in a public school. And they didn't. They put them in Sidwell Friends, the same school that Chelsea went to. I believe that parents should be able to have the right to say, this is a bad inner city school. I want my kid to have a better shot. Obama doesn't. That makes me a bad guy. That makes me your enemy. All I said is when a cop pulls you over, no matter what race you are, be polite, put your hands on the wheel, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, say yes, sir, say no, sir. If you feel that you are, are mistreated, get his or her badge number and settle it up later on. That makes me an Uncle Tom, that makes me a sellout. There's a video that Chris Rock did called How Not to Get Your Butt Kicked by the Police. Take a look at it. He said the same thing I said, but he's a comedian, so he's okay. I'm serious, so I'm an Uncle Tom. Do you call him an Uncle Tom? Regarding my assertion about fathers, is Tupac Shakur and Uncle Tom and a neocon and a sellout? He said, I know for a fact, had I had a father when I grew up, I would have had more discipline, I would have been more confident. That makes me a bad guy. I quote Obama. Obama said a kid raised without a dad is five times more likely to be poor uh, and to, to commit crime, nine times more likely to drop out of school, 20 times more likely to end up in jail. Is he Uncle Tom? I've asked you to specifically name what I've said with which you disagree. You couldn't do it. You just yelled. You just screamed like a child, like a victocrat. I want to say something, if I can, about uh, Relief Factor. Out of the blue yesterday, I'm talking.